Poe Oscar, um, wasn't really that hard of a character to play. Um, for most people that know me, Oscar's pretty much uh, S Smitty times about anywhere between five and 20, minus the coke habit. He is what he is, you know. I think his greasy hair pretty much describes his personality. <laughs> um, he's nothing more than a sleaze ball, greedy son of a bitch. He's only out for himself. The funny thing about the movie is he has to rely on not only his sister Pearl or his brother Floyd, but a uh, unknown person to get what he wants. Oscar has a bittersweet ending. You know, maybe after all this, maybe Oscar learned his lesson and um, maybe Oscar will change his ways, but, but I doubt it. Well, how um, Touch of Class Pictures and um, Colorfully Dark got together, Matt Staley, the other, the better half of uh, Touch of Class Pictures and uh, John Taylor, they were uh, working cohorts. John's always been into filmmaking. And it's always been his dream. You know, Matt's very talented. He was always into music and, and art and such. John would send Matt some of the videos that he had made with his uh, Colorfully Dark crew out in Indiana. And uh, I'm not quite sure the year that Matt purchased his first digital video camera. Of course, Matt had the equipment, so we were gonna put it to use. Started out just filming a couple minute shorts here and there. We graduated from that to um, filming the carnivals and parades, touch of class all-stars that attend those events. Matt would whip it together, send it out to John, and I guess they had a little back and forth vibe thing going on, trying to outdo one another with the laugh. And what really made me personally think that, you know, this shit could be for real, and it's probably to most people it might not be, but the uh, bucking around uh, hunting show that we did with our cohort, David Mackley, best straight man into business, by the way. Just knowing what we filmed and then seeing what Matt could do when he edited it all together, you know, I was pretty impressed. And then we went from that to um, the carnival dancer. Matt got lucky one night at the carnival and uh, old Michael Snyder appeared in front of his lens. And then after that, we went out to Indiana and uh, created the character Bart Walgaman for the feature film Promenade, our uh, first full length and also Touch of Class, Colorfully Dark collaboration. Then Matt got hooked up with uh, Libby McDermott and um, they kind of made their uh, Coming Together productions. It's, it's a whole separate thing. I know we're dealing with a lot of production companies, but you know, we're all, we're all one love, one family. And we went out to Indiana, Anderson, Indiana in November of 2007 and made, uh, brain, made brain Rap. Coming Together, it's a perfect name because we all came together and and, and made this film what it is. And on a serious note, I think everybody will enjoy it. Believe it or not, I've, I've never had any acting lessons or uh, I've never had an acting coach. I know that's hard to believe. I was never in the drama club. I was never in the all school production of South Pacific, never destined to be on a rea reality TV show. I don't know if what I do you could call acting. I'd say it takes somewhat of a talent Basically, my friends and I, we just like to make each other laugh. And I think that's how this all got started, was just to have inside jokes, you know, because we get our own humor, you know. It's, you never know if uh, somebody else out there is going to understand what the hell you're laughing at or what you're trying to do. But I definitely think we have an audience. When we say dark comedy, uh, that's a pretty good word for it. We're not Will, Will Ferrow funny, you know. It's not a Jim Carrey funny face funny. It's just uh, sick humor, you know. Just laughing at the uh, average everyday going ons in the world and different people that make this world what it is. I think brain rap definitely has more touch of class influence than, uh, than Promenade did, minus the Bart Walgaman. The funny thing about it is, um, after I'm done working on a movie, um, the character that I played, well, like with Bart Walgaman, took me forever to get uh, Bart Walgaman out of my head. It was almost like I became Bart Walgaman. And I guess in a sense I did. I'd like to thank every character that I have created and will create 
is a part of my personality, like a multi-personality type, which is, which is true. Like I said before with Oscar, um, man, he, he was a tough one. He was a hard habit to break. I kind of lied before when I mentioned about the coke habit, but uh, after being Oscar, I kind of went on like a 10-day coke binge, uh, what I call a blackout. Just sat around the, the table by myself with a like a little transistor radio and just listened to uh, AM talk radio for 10, 10 solid days and just did big gaggers. But uh, you know, I kicked the habit. I kicked that habit. I still smoke tough cigarettes. That is. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what the future holds for old Thomas J. Smith. I don't know what what characters we'll create. Damn sure bet they'll be original and they'll be funny and they'll definitely be me. I just wanna, you know, thank all the uh, MySpace ladies out there for all their support over the past few years. I wanna let you know, all know that um, I am this good looking in person. Uh, there's no, uh, no camera tricks being used. I'm not a professional model. I'm an unprofessional model. I'm an unprofessional actor. So in general, Thomas J. Smith is just unprofessional. But professionally. Unprofessional.